Fishing Addiction is brought to you by Daiwa. G'day, I'm Mark Berg. My fishing addiction has taken me all over the world to do battle with some incredible fish. And now on Fishing Addiction, I share my travels with a different fisho each week and give them the chance to win Daiwa fishing gear and a brand new boat from Black Dog Cats. This week on Fishing Addiction, it's part two of our adventure with Ocean Blue in Vanuatu. With action galore, this is going to be a wild ride for our winner, Mark. Backbreakers, these things. Oh, it's a huge fish. He's got him, he's got him. This is an adventure we're never going to forget. Oh! Another first for you. Yes. Fred Finn Salmon. Oh, this fish is heavy, I've got to draw. It's a beauty, absolute rip snorter. Oh, he's on, it's all happening. Huge teeth, big eyes, and just hates everything on the roof. Yes! <laughs> Woo! If you missed last week's episode, we surprised concreter Mark Stiliano with a very cool fishing adventure to Vanuatu. Hello, you must be Mark Stelliano. Sure am. How you going, Mark? <laughs> What's going on? Your family has got you a ripper. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> oh, Mate, uh, thanks to Daiwa, and of course your family, who have nominated you. You're coming fishing, mate. Yeah. Guess where you're going? No idea. Have a go. Just try and... Anything? Oh, I don't know. Lake Illawarra. <laughs> Bye -bye. Mate, on Monday we're going to Vanuatu. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thanks, buddy. So I'm sitting there having lunch and I look over my shoulder and I see Bergy walking towards me and I just thought straight away, go, something's wrong here, something's going on. And then I remember checking my Facebook this morning and seeing Surprise Day or something on his Facebook. So I knew he was going to go surprise somebody today and as soon as I saw him I knew I was going somewhere. After the goodbyes, it was time for the adventure to begin. We flew directly to a Fati in Vanuatu from Sydney, and then on to our home for the week at Trees and Fishes Resort. This place is like a dream, with lush rainforest and crystal clear water on the doorstep of this private resort that is all part of the ocean blue experience in Vanuatu. Just staying in this place is amazing, but together with incredible fishing, makes this place a fisherman's paradise. Now let's take a look back at the fishing action so far. Oh, he's climbed on and keep going. Yes, he's on. Oh, keep going. Pop it, pop it. Keep going. He's coming again. He's coming again. Oh, it's a huge fish. He's got him. He's got him. This is a big fish. Came once, missed the lure, came again and smashed him. This is a big GT. Oh, double hook up. Oh, oh you've done him. Oh. Oh. That's a big fish. Oh. oh man, there's some weight there. Oh. Oh, it's a shark. Is it? No, it's a GT, a chitty, big chitty, one. Chitty, chitty. Oh! There's a big fish, man. Oh, look at that thing! Oh. How's this for the first fish of the trip? That is a monster, mate. Have you ever seen anything like this? I've seen them on TV, but I didn't realise how big they were to actually see them in person, oh, mate. There's yeah. nothing quite like doing it in real life, mate. This fish is heavy, I've got to tell you. It'll be 45, nearly 50 kilos, I reckon. Monster fish. This is the one we want you to catch, mate. Right. Red bass. Oh, it is too. Look is at it? that. Oh, yeah. Cool fish. Oh, that's beautiful, mate. Oh, look at that thing. Surprisingly hard too. They pull real hard. Look yeah. at the motor on the thing, mate. Got a nice big tail. That's it, that's it. Good job. Holy smokes! Oh yeah! Big fish! Oh, that's just the back. 
Right, as this one's yours. There's a lot of line out. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, look at that run! Woo! That was that first run. Yeah, that was. Uh, it was sizzling, mate. Absolutely sizzling. One, there was no smoke coming off that reel. That was so fast. The Wahoo session was just crazy, with fish leaping everywhere. time for the fishing adventure to continue in this incredible place. Today we're fishing at a spot called Monument Rock. It's a magnificent rock there. It just comes out of absolutely nowhere and sits a few hundred metres above the water level. And the jigging yesterday, unfortunately, didn't produce any dog tooth, but this place here is renowned for monster dog tooth tuna. The way we're doing it is a little different. We're going to use a cannon downrigger. Got some nice big dead baits. Take them down. We're in about 60, 70 metres of water get that uh, downrigger, get that dead bait down about halfway down and just slowly troll on the edges of the drop-offs all around this magnificent rock and hopefully Mark will get that Saltiga 8000 screaming with a monster dog tooth tuna. Today's the day. Every winner that comes on the show has the chance to win $5,000 worth of fishing gear from our major sponsors at Daiwa and they go in the draw to win this magnificent black dog cat. What an incredible prize. cool to actually see it all unfold right in front of you on your sounder. All these red marks here and arches represent fish that are sitting on the bottom and this long line that goes straight through there, that's our bait on the downrigger ball and you can see there's a few fish around that 20 meter mark. We don't want to set it down any deeper because if a big dog tooth eats it, it'll basically take you straight into the reef and it'll be all over. So we try and swim it a little bit shallower and hopefully one of these big arches will come up and smash our bait. Despite our best efforts, the doggies were just not in the mood to eat. So we thought we'd try and stir them up with some jigging. Oh, it's pretty flat, but it's... Oh, he's on, fish on. Just saw something. It's a coming, it's a coming. Working back this way. And I think it could be a shark. It is a shark. It's a shark! Shark, shark, shark! Oh, well. Sharks! And no tip there, so it's really hard to see what kind it is. No markings, white or black.
In addition to our major sponsor, Daiwa, the Fishing Addiction Collective is a group of businesses that come together to support the show and make it possible for us to take fishers like you on incredible fishing adventures. And we'd like to say thank you to these great businesses. Black Dog Cats were created in 2009 to access remote areas in New Zealand for fishing, diving and hunting. These magnificent vessels are now available here in Australia. Black Dog Cats are renowned for the stability and ride quality, especially when the weather turns bad. These great boats really do give you the confidence that you know you'll make it home safe every time. If you'd like your business to be part of the Fishing Addiction Collective, send us a message via the website at fishingaddiction.com.au. Oh well, good way to warm up the muscles, Mark. Yeah, sure is, mate. Well, why Mark and I were hard at work jigging, Andre, this sneaky little monkey, got up the back here, dropped out a dead bait, was just stripping it out slowly, and something quite large has eaten it, and we're hoping it's a doggy and not another shark. There's some great shows on the sounder. We're in a great doggy spot, and a notorious doggy spot. There's yeah. the run. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, he's not stopping. It's all right. Good job. Good job, Mark. Well, water's coming over the top. Excellent. This could be a 20 kilo doggy right here. Uh, Come on, man. Off it goes again. He's taking line again. This is a big fish. And again. Just hold the rod up. I'm going to try and plane him up. Now wind, wind, wind like a crazy man. Wind, 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 wind. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Good job, man. Good job. Keep going. Excellent. Yeah, go to work. Go to work. Nice, straight out the back. Beautiful. So, all that craziness just then was we actually headed towards the fish. That way we could gain some lines. So the boat's going towards it, the line's down towards it. Mark just had to whine, 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 like a crazy person to keep the tension on. And it gives us a bit more leverage on this big fish. Now we've got him off the bottom, there's no problem there, but we are only in 50 metres of water here. As opposed to the deeper water, 100, 120 metres where you get them jigging, a lot less chance of losing them, but in this shallower water, there's a bit of reef down there. Yeah, you gotta get going. Sharks might eat him, let's go, pump him up. The concreter from Sydney, going hard. You're actually a builder, aren't you? Uh, Chippy by trade, yeah. Chippy by trade. No stalemates. Let's go. Every inch counts now. Let's go. Come on, give him some. You gotta get faster, dude. Because if it is a big dog, you will get eaten. Ever been connected to anything like this before? No, I can't say I have. <laughs> well, this is what this is all about. New experiences and big fish. Come on. Look at doggy, come on. It's a doggy. We just saw it come up. It's definitely a dog tooth. And it's a big one. Run again. Now, for you folks at home watching this, we're going to gaff this fish. Don't freak out, all right? This fish wouldn't leave anyway, and it's going to be eaten by a lot of people here in Vanuatu. So we're going to put a gaff through its mouth. Don't freak out, that's part of fishing. And uh, it doesn't hurt the fish because his time spent now anyway and he's going to be dinner for us. There's no commercial fishing in Vanuatu, none. So the only way to feed and supply the local restaurants or whatever have you is by recreational anglers like us bringing them yeah. to them. Doggy. Oh. Yeah, big doggy. <laughs> oh, baby, look at the size of it. Backbreakers, these things. Come on, mate, come on. Whew. No, 
There's the run. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Oh, you gotta stop him. It's all right. Yeah, wine, wine, wine like a crazy man. Wine, 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 wine. Keep going, that's it. Keep going. That's it, good job, man, good job. You gotta get faster, dude. If it is a big dog, you will get eaten. Oh, yeah, big doggy. Oh, baby! Look at the size of it! Backbreakers, these things. Here it comes. Okay, bring the later. Oh, gaff it! Yeah! How was that? That's insane. Whoa, 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 here it comes. Watch the teeth. All right. Oh, on the deck, go. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby! What a fish! Oh, I'm bugging. That is 40 kilos, mate. Oh. 40, you only had to get 20 and you've doubled it. Doubled it, that is a beast. Now guys, the camera guys didn't catch this because we're all leaning over the side of the boat, but the hook popped out, it literally just popped out at the edge of the boat and Tom, our legendary decky up the back who looks like a ninja, gaffed it as it started to float away. Oh, you are one lucky that's camper. That's so lucky. That was, that's often the case that some of the bigger fish are lost in the very last moments of the fight. And for that hook just to pop out and him to gaff it like that, well, look, look at the size of it! That's my biggest fish. Easy. Oh, that's a beast. Describe that's... the fight. Mate, they're just mongrel. Absolute mongrels. Poor line. Think you got it up. That way he goes again. Oh, they're tough bar. Yeah, that's tough, a great That's a great fish. Well done. Let's hold it up and have a look, huh? Well, this is what Ocean Blue fishing in Vanuatu <laughs> is all about. It's actually interesting, you look at this fish, he's not overly long. He's fat. He is so fat and so heavy. I didn't realise until I actually put him on my lap with you. This is easy 40 kilos. Yeah. What a stonker. Big brute, these things. Bet you didn't think last week you'd be nah. doggies in Vanuatu. Nah, not at all, mate. Stoked, but that's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. So lucky to be doing this. Does it make you think of your dad at all, or? Yeah, it's good, man. I wish he was here. He'd be, he'd be loving this. Absolutely yeah. loving it. Yeah. But uh, I'm pretty sure he's happy that I'm doing it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it's about. It's another great fish in Vanuatu. Good stuff, mate. That's sick. Cheers, mate. Get it on ice, eh? Yep, sounds good. Every winner that comes on the show has the chance to win $5,000 worth of fishing gear from our major sponsors at Daiwa. And they go in the draw to win this magnificent black dog cat. What an incredible prize. All right, let's give the dead bait a go. Hopefully this time, Bergie gets a run, one of these magic fish. So the whole technique here is just a dead bait, floats down in the water, and all you do is got to strip it off. Andre makes a really good point in that having a few people jigging can often fire the fish up but they're not aggressive enough or hungry enough to bother to come over and chase the jig. But if you've got a dead bait in and around the area, it's basically just floating down. It's an easy meal for a big fish. Swim over, slowly eat it, and away he goes. So it's a really good technique. So at the moment, we've got someone on a stick bait. Andrea is on the jig, and I've got the dead bait slowly stripping out the back of the boat here. So changing it up, trying to fire the fish up, Hopefully attracts that giant doggy that we all want to catch.
like a color already. Yeah. Whoa, something just scared him off. Oh. Oh, there's a shark there, there's a shark. <laughs> oh, that is, don't give up. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh yeah. Nice little doggy. This one's only about maybe 12 to 14 kilos. But as you can see, oh, they are very, very tough. And he's not done fighting. You have a look at those teeth. They are serious predatory fish with a big eye, awesome vision, speed, and aggressiveness. <laughs> Settle down, mate. Settle right down. Open it up. Sashimi tonight, baby. Woo! Oh, there, there. Big doggy on it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yep. Ah. Oh, oh. Yeah, a double hook up, one at the front, one at the back. Ah, oh, gone. Hook's pulled. Down there, doggy. Mark, which gun? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. shivers. Yeah, hold it out, that's it. Well done, Mark. Well done, nice fish. Woo. And oh. keep going. You got him. Just that a little. He's got a little fish. Hey. Now there's a bait. What a great bait. Is that a good bait size? Yep, it's going in the top <laughs> and back over the side. Oh, been taken again. When you're fighting these fish, you really need to think about the gear that you bring with you because a lot of stuff out there just won't handle it. This is where a real like a Saltiga 8000 Expedition really comes into its own on big angry fish like this. Oh, it's a big jobby. Oh, a big red bass, look at the size of it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a big bass. Oh, look at that for a red bass. That is without a doubt the biggest red bass I've ever caught. It's not a dog tooth, but the way it was shaking its head and carrying on, it really did feel like one at first, but then it came pretty easy. That fish is at least eight or nine kilos of red bass. Again, another nasty pelagic fish that has huge teeth, big eyes, and just hates everything on the reef. Just nasty, nasty fish. Eat big poppers and just ate a giant bait, half the size of its body. All right, time to say goodbye to this awesome fish. See you, buddy. Get those boggers out. Flick him over and down to the deep he goes. Oh, that was cool. Another personal best for me. That's definitely the biggest red bass I've ever caught. 
It was on a bonito, that big. Crazy, crazy place, Vanuatu. I love it. Yep. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, no. Come here. Oh. 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 Big shark, that's what it was. Oh, and there's a doggy right there. Yes, yes, quick, yes. Quick, 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 quick. Big, small one, small one. No, no, big one, big, big one. Big one, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, a couple of these. Oh, yes, Mark's on. I think it's a shark. Small doggy, there you go. <laughs> yeah, big or small, they pull hard. She's <laughs> off the water. Just to the end of this island here. After that insane session on the doggies, we were so happy to share our catch with the locals. Mark's 40 kilo dog tooth tuna was not going to be wasted at all. Oh, you drown. Ah, okay, nice one. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> It was time again to start casting for GTs. What a magnificent backdrop here in Vanuatu. <laughs> Smash! <laughs> that's about 20. Yeah, okay, that's about 20 centimetres. <laughs> well, it's no 40 kilo GT or dog tooth. No. Nah. That's not a bad way to finish the day. I'm pretty happy with that. They look cool when you see them come out. Everyone's quiet on the boat. We're all just casting and casting, and all of a sudden, every single person, whoa! Even when a little fella like this smashes your lure. All right, mate, send him home. Let's go. Spear him in. Choo, and oh, away he goes. Back to trees and fishes for a cold one. Oh, beautiful. What a great day. CRC products are part of my everyday routine to ensure all my gear never lets me down. From CRC's salt and corrosion terminator for flushing my motor and protecting my entire boat to Marine 66 with its non-hardening protective coating. I even use it on my Minn Kota. Lastly, Tackle Guard keeps all my dial reels in perfect condition with a quick spray that provides corrosion protection and lubrication. For the full range of CRC products, check out the website and simply have your gear last longer. Another spectacular day's fishing with Ocean Blue. If you're looking for a dynamic fishing destination, 
Ocean Blue is definitely worth checking out. Not only is the fishing insane, but just being in this paradise is worth the journey. Day three, was another awesome day. Um, got my first dog tooth tuna, uh, 40 kilos plus, so that thing just absolutely went like a freight train. Stretched my arms, I'm an absolute wreck now, but it was well worth it. And, um, caught heaps of other little ones, which was sick as well. Just fully pumped, you know, just never had anything like that in my life. And then uh, we finished the day off, just popping um, some stick baits around and caught a little GT. So perfect day, great day, mate. To see Mark get his first big doggy, and first doggy at all was really good. See that on his face. Um, for us at Ocean Blue, it's just uh, the best you can get. Get a big doggy like this, even for his first one. A nice 40 kilo fish like that was really, really good. And he was just so happy, and I was as well. Yeah, so it was my dad that got me into fishing, um, taught me how to cast a rod, bait me hooks, do me knots, all that kind of stuff. And that was probably me and my dad's main time we ever spent together was fishing. And I still remember it, being a little kid, taking me out and all that kind of stuff. So oh, he would have loved to be here today and he would have been having a ball. And I think he would have been proud to see me bring that 40 kilo in. He would have been stoked. So yeah, it was awesome. I wish he was here for it. After a massive day on the water, nothing beats a big feed of sensational food. And that's exactly what you get at Trees and Fishes. Prepared every night. Well, all good things must come to an end and today is our very last day fishing here in paradise. Ocean Blue fishing here in Vanuatu have certainly got us onto some great fish so far, but Mark, our winner, still needs a GT over 20 kilos, a yellowfin tuna over 20 kilos, and a billfish to win the fishing addiction challenge. It's a tall order in one day, but you never know what could happen in this magnificent place. So let's hit the water and see if we can get that fairy tale ending for our mate Mark. We eventually made our way back to the part of the reef that saw some big GT strikes a few days earlier. Hopes were high to see it all happen again. Fish behind it, it's not a bass. Fish on it, fish on it. It's a blue trevally. That. Oh, look at that bait there. Oh, you're behind it. Another follow. You know, coming to a place like Vanuatu, you expect to catch big fish and you watch all the fishing shows and it all looks very, very easy. But what you don't see is the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of casts you've got to put in sometimes just to get one fish. Not as easy as we sometimes make it look. Something's on mine. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, big bass, look at the size of them. Oh, oh, oh. come on. I'm on too. Ah. He's after it, GT. I got a cod. Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, got him. Oh, I dropped it. Dang it. 
Mate, that many follows, that many strikes, and nothing is sticking today. Fish. As soon as I stop for my bread roll, the Frenchman gets on my rod and loses a fish. Red bass. Go back to my roll now. <laughs> He's on, he's on, he's on, yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, hang on to him, that's it, good job. Good job. Be cool, be cool, just keep the tension on. Yeah, GT. Finally, a fish took a lure. And you get days like that when you go fishing. It looks perfect, the conditions are awesome. But they just don't want to eat. And that's their prerogative, if they don't want to eat, they don't want to eat. And his mates with him. There you yeah. go. Oh, about time. <laughs> yeah, nice fish. Little baby one. Oh, they still pull hard. How hard have you worked for that fish today? <laughs> Mate, I reckon there's about two, three hundred casts in there and <laughs> finally got one. I was too tired to bring it in. Mind you, back home, if you got a fish like this, how stoked oh, would you be? I'd be stoked, absolutely stoked. It's a little baby for here, but still great fun. Mate. Look at the size of the stick bait compared to the actual fish. He's... And he smashed it. And that will just pop out, look at that, just pops out just like that, barbless hooks. Done. And uh, he'll be fine. Beautiful little fish. Ready to go. Home. Hopefully some of his mates are still in there. Bigger ones. Yeah. All right, we might let him go, eh? Yep, chuck him in. Let's go. Back down the roof. Cool fish, man. That look awesome. Woo. That's sick. Wine, 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 wine. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, you got him. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. That's it. Wine, 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 wine. Just wine. Don't worry about pumping. Just wine. Just wine, wine. I think he's off. No, he's not. He's off. Yeah, he's off. It's off. Let's go again. That was a big one. Yeah, got him. <laughs> He's in the hard yards. Nice work. Shaking around a lot. All right, we'll drop again. Doesn't seem like it's a massive fish. Half a fish, that's why. Oh. Half a doggy. Look at that. First doggy on jigging, I can't even bring it in whole. Well, compared to the first two days, how hard was today? That was a hard, hard day, mate. It was a shocker. How many casts oh. did we put in today, you reckon? Two, three hundred casts. Easy. Each. Yeah, <laughs> easy. My shoulders and back, I gotta tell you, they're gone. I'm wrecked, mate. I'm an absolute wreck. <laughs> well, look, it really is time to go back to trees and fishes, but I reckon, mate, we, there's a fad just up here. And if you don't know what a fad is, folks, fish attracting device. It's a man-made big float. The fish congregate around it at times, and we're gonna do some trolling. And you never know, we might get a dolphin fish, a tuna, like a yellowfin, or maybe even a marlin to finish off the trip. Oh, that'd be an awesome end. Wouldn't it be awesome? That'd be sick. But with fishing, you just never know. So this is it, last roll of the dice, and it's all over. Been a good trip, mate. Can't complain. Stoked. All right, mate. Let's give these guys a hand. Yep, let's do and, it. And uh, fingers crossed. Yep. Right up. Da 
double, double. You got, you got the big boy. And while fighting our very last fish of the trip, we had a few visitors come by the boat. The sun has just dipped below the horizon. It is nearly six o'clock. We should have been home. We couldn't help ourselves. And Andrea, as per usual, has come through for us. And we think a couple of good yellowfin. Mark nearly got his up. I think mine's a bit bigger. Oh, I've got colour. Oh, we just saw the boat. These uh, false killer whales, that's what they're actually called, are swimming around the boat and they will eat my tuna if I don't get it up quick, so it's time to go. Yes! Woo! Oh my gosh, those fish can pull. What a way to finish the day. Unfortunately, mate, this is the 20 you needed, but oh, I don't care, mate. That was sick. how much fun was that? Doubles. Double hook up on poppers, mate. Woo! What a way to finish the day. That's sick. And I've got to put this fish down because my arm's about to break. <laughs> That's the end of the week for us. Had a great trip. Uh, experienced a lot of new things. Met some great people. Um, yeah, caught probably about three or four fish off my bucket list in one week. So I'm absolutely stoked with that. Um, guys at Ocean Blue have treated us so well. You know, took us out, showed us all the spots and got us onto some great, great fish. Treated us like kings when we came back. Great feed, I was just stoked with that. Um, guys from Daiwa for putting on this great week for us. Um, Mark Berg, Fishing Addiction Crew, now they were awesome. Um, the missus and my family for making this all happen. Can't thank you enough for that, that means a world to me. And in the words of my dad, that's all folks. You know, there's so much more to fishing than just catching fish. It's a way of bringing people together. And in Mark's case, the time spent with his father over the years, well, they're very, very special times that he will never, ever forget. And now he uses fishing to bring back those memories, to continue to connect to his father. And his time here in Vanuatu over the last week, if he's managed to do that again, he's thought of his dad, he's been close to his dad while he's fishing, well, it's been a very successful week. You know, we love coming to Vanuatu because the fishing's great, but also the accommodation and food with Ocean Blue is second to none. Check out their website, oceanblue.com. Until next time, I'm Mark Berg. Stay safe and God bless.